be talking to Safra Abraham, who has recently graduated from HEC Paris with a master's degree in sustainability and social innovation. So, Safra, could you tell us more about HEC Paris? Hi, sure. So AGC Paris is uh, one of uh, Europe's premier business schools. And I was fortunate enough to be able to do my MSc uh, Masters in Science of Sustainability and Social Innovation there. And um, yeah, it was a great experience. Right. So what made you decide to study in France over other countries? Um, so it's a, it's a combination of, of multiple things. So firstly, um, HEC Paris uh, is really well-renowned, you know, the university that it is by itself is one, it's one of the top. So that was a natural, you know, okay, winner for me in terms of uh, uh, education and school. And in addition to that, I had, uh, uh, I, I was, I was already taking French lessons and it is extremely important uh, to, you know, kind of speak the language of the country that you're going to so it it made sense for me to apply to a, to a school like that and i think most importantly though for me was the fact that this business school was offering a masters that was right up something that i wanted to do like it was you know it was a cult, uh, amalgamation of my passion um as well as my aptitude so i wanted to do a sustainability course and uh, not too many universities offer that so hec paris was a, was a natural choice for me so yeah Great. So how has your degree in sustainability and social innovation helped you kickstart your sustainable business, Green D? Uh, so uh, an MSc in sustainability and social innovation has a lot of different aspects to it. So, I mean, the most important aspect is that HEC Paris is a business school. OK, so it's not, you know, teaching you sustainability only from the environmental standpoint to become, you know, like an ecologist or a biologist or you know very scientific it's more in okay today we are in a business world with you know with companies facing you know different sort of problems so how would you as say a sustainability expert or a sustainability consultant come in you know what kind of knowledge can you uh, bring to the table basically so we had very 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 different courses uh, you know to kind of help businesses you know whether it's their supply chain or uh, um, different aspects like you know there's uh, sustainable financing so that's another aspect uh, that is extremely important uh, that businesses need to know about you know because they don't know uh, sustainably reporting is also super important you know fine you're doing x y and z sustainable activities but how do you report about it you know what are the frameworks that you have to follow to be in line with what is currently being done uh, you know what can you your company do better to be better and you know uh, and also communicate that information to others so these are like, uh, uh, you know, very kind of courses uh, that we had. And uh, we also had like, you know, a lot of sustainable business planning. So what goes into that is that you're, uh, you know, sort of thinking differently. You're thinking out of the box. Yes, you have to come up with a business plan and it has to be financially viable, sure. But you also have to have a sustainable part of that business, you know. So how, what are you doing to better your community or to better the environment for example you know social inclusion and a lot of different aspects that come into it so it you know it changes your thought process and your mindset so um you know having uh, these varied you know new experiences new classes uh, really helped me with my business which is greened india um it is a vegan hamper and an online vegan marketplace okay and uh, it is a, it is sustainable at the crux of it right so having you know that whole sustainability um, knowledge and courses and classes that i had taken before really came to the forefront when i had to sit down with my business partner and you know uh, give her all the ideas that i had you know accumulated over the last year and uh, you know whether it was with our accounting our um, our business plan our you know what are the different aspects that we can add that differentiates us from other you know online marketplaces out there how can we do better and be better so a lot of that came into place and it, it really really helped me take my uh, vegan business to the next level so yes yeah i think it's great that you're applying whatever you studied in university and yeah. the real world so what advice would you give students who are considering studying in europe yes i would um the most important advice for especially for students who want to go to france or any other uh, you know european country where english is not given that much importance to 
I would say, please, please, please study the language. You know, so for example, I went to France, so there, um, there is no, there's not as much scope for a, for a student who does not know French as there is for one that does. You know, and uh, you know, learning, knowing more than, of course, knowing the more number of languages you know, uh, only the only you know better it can be for you for all your future prospects. I would really, really recommend students do that. And another important thing uh, that I've come across, because, you know, a lot of students uh, contact me, you know, like, uh, Safra, can you help us? You know, we we are currently, you know, we want to do this, but we also want to do that. And we're interested in so many things. So the first thing that I tell them is, you know, like, get your research about the different universities and the courses, you know, more, more important than universities is knowing what you want to do, you know, and I think, but right now there is so much information out there and i think students sometimes get confused you know like what do we do oh we just want to get out of the country so we're going to do anything you know that shouldn't be the the outlook the outlook should be okay how is this going to better what i have studied and you know how will this take me to the next step where i want to be so i know it sounds really generic and oh yeah cliched but it people don't give it enough importance as it should be given and I think the third thing is uh, what people are doing right now, which we in our time, which is around like five years ago, you know, when I finished my bachelor's, which I didn't do as much, is reaching out to the right kind of people who have done that. You know, like when I applied for HEC, I, it was, I was very late in the stage to then talk to people, you know, to alumni of my course or my university to know better, to know what the prospect, you know, prospects are. So I would really recommend like, don't feel shy you know just reach out to people people are always willing to help and you will always get the right sort of help for your particular course so that would be like my all in all advice to all the kids out there who are looking to pursue their masters especially in europe yeah okay thank you so much for all your insights and i wish you all the very best thank you so much sean